Yay, congrats, Scorpio, on the fry win. Anyone level up? Dark Passenger needs some fries. Wow, you have a lot of gold, Dark Passenger. <laughs> 56,121. Holy crap. All right, you ready for some Earthbound? I know nothing about this game. I really, I, I know uh, you need a fry. Yeah, you do. You need one fry. It's funny because you died. Usually the people who die get the fry. It's kind of a thing. So I don't know why Queen City Q you didn't get a, get a fry. And welcome, by the way. <laughs> I am. I'm starting Earthbound. <laughs> Earthbound even? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just have never played it. And so refinance this house to afford this game. No. So... Well, what are you talking about? I'm playing this on a on a Super Nintendo. It says Super Nintendo right here. But actually, I am playing this on the Switch. Because you're right, Madbeard. I'm not paying between $350 and $400 for this cartridge. Uh, so, we're going to play it on the Switch. <laughs> More important than Doctor Who, we will be watching Doctor Who. Oh my goodness, let me talk about Doctor Who for a second. I miss David Tennant so much. He's so good. The writing has been so good on these last two episodes. Oh my God, it's been so good. David Tennant was my favorite Doctor and I've kind of fallen off um, watching it uh, since Matt Smith. So I have not watched any of the last two Doctors. Um, and uh, definitely, if, they, if anyone's going to get me back into Doctor Who, it's David Tennant. <laughs> They're good. Yeah, they're really good. You should watch them because David Tennant is just like he never left. He's so good in them. And then, you know, you got um, the showrunners back with David Tennant as well. So I think both of them matched up. Uh, Russell B. Russell Davis? Russell, Russ, anyway. The showrunner. I'm not going to remember it, so. <laughs> I'm sure one of you will give it, get me. Yeah. Capaldi, because he grew up with a show. Yeah. Yeah, Capaldi. I loved Capaldi in. Uh, he was in the um, Torchwood movie. And it was. He was so good in that. No, Stephen Moffat, I think, is the uh, was during uh, he took over after, and he wrote and he wrote some really good episodes, like you know the Stone Angels and a few other. So. Yeah, Davies, it is Davies. Okay, yeah, he's a very good actor. Yeah, I have. I'll say I have watched the first few. I. I dug up, uh, actually it was when I was in, I think it was when I was in Las Vegas for TwitchCon. I actually watched uh, a few episodes uh, of the Capaldi uh, Doctor Who. And they were good. So maybe I'll continue watching them. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, yeah, he wrote some of the ones from Tenet. And they're usually the weirdest ones. So, so I think I think Davies is back for the new Doctor, and I think I, and so I think that'll be that's that's a good sign. The thick of it, ooh my goodness, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to Jody uh, Jody's uh, Doctor as well. I just you know I just kind of got out of it and I hadn't watched it. All right, so shall we shall we start Earthbound? Like I said, I know nothing about this game, so. The writing wasn't. Okay. I guess we're starting a new game. Uh, tech speed. Mm, let's go fast. Eh, we'll go medium. And we're in stereo, baby. Which type of windows do you prefer? Plain, mint. Oh, I see. Strawberry, banana, or peanut? This is a weird question. 
That's from Smash Brothers. I see. So there is kind of like a, a crossover. <laughs> Super long. Oh, well, there you go. You were for 95 windows. Well, we'll go with peanut flavored. Please name him while well, he's J-Fries. Can I not? Okay, so when this happens, and this happens every once in a while, uh, he becomes J Fry. <laughs> there were there were a few uh, uh, um, Zelda games that I had to do that. <laughs> Weird and funny humor. Okay. Whoops. Oh, I hit. I hit. I hit B. Oh, I have to name her too. Oh my goodness. Here, I'm just gonna not care. It's Paula. Name your friend. All right, this will be Neil. We named it Pooh. <laughs> uh, I don't really. If I had a pet, I would. If I had a dog, I would totally name him. Let's see what it says. King, Peach, Sparky. I like Sparky. We're gonna go with Sparky. Favorite homemade food is pizza. Homemade. <laughs> your name. Your dog was Bob. Not naming it ass. What's your favorite thing? Uh, we'll just say games. It'd be video games, but, but we'll just say games because. All right, we got J Fry, Paula, Neil, Pooh, Sparky, Pizza, and Games. Er. <laughs> exactly. The year is 1990X. Want, uh, want a small town in England. I think that's what it said. <laughs> Jay Fry's house. What's that? Am I moving? I'm moving. <laughs> hey, Oceanic. Yes. Okay. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing well. We finished uh, Mario Brothers, so that was cool. This is like this is like one of those adventures. What was that noise? Hey, Fry, 
You don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And how... And now you want to go check it out? Uh, okay. You sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Oh, I see. Whip. Okay, this is very much a RPG. <laughs> I have an I have an ATM card. Let's check. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm checking the the stuff. Presents or chests? Okay. Well, here, let's check out our our doggy. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Guess we're going outside. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. What's going on. I want to return home, but the roads are now uh, the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. See what the police say. Own it? I guess it's own it. Uh, own it police are infamous for not for closing roads if something is going on. We're going for the world record. Don't panic. It's just a what? Meteorite. That who I fell. I just wanna what? Go home. Okay, maybe there's another way around. Let's see what this dude says. Did you hear that big bang? I think a meteor light landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm gonna I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Alright, well let's go this way. Please. We'll just walk by him. What's up with this guy? A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Hey you, don't you know what time it is? this present. There is a bread roll inside. Okay, I wonder if that's like health. Go this way. Who's this dude? <laughs> hey, Jay Fry. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way, J Fry, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter, this is Lear. X aggregates house. Wow. All right. Yes. Oh, there's the meteorite. <laughs> hey, Jay Fry, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Oh, okay. Like that? Uh, okay. Yeah, thanks. What is, does R do anything? Nice timing, J Fry. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? No, we're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. OK, 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out. <laughs> See what this guy says. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous as well as mysterious. Ooh. my house down there yeah exactly <laughs> do I need to beat him up I think the officers wouldn't be too happy about that I would think See if I can go around another way. Doesn't look like it. Look, I think my mom is looking for me. Welcome home, Jay Fry. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off the bed. Should I just go to bed? Doesn't seem like I should go to bed. I can just bust into other people's houses. I am so sleepy. Mom and Dad haven't gotten back to, from town yet. Pokey ran out and he hasn't returned. I'm thinking about going to bed. All right, we're in Pokey's house. Maybe we can find uh, maybe we can find uh, some incriminating evidence. That will convince Pucky to go home. Doesn't look like it. Later that night. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Agreed. My land, who could be knocking at the door? at the door at this time of night. Would you answer it? <laughs> Why is the dog still sleeping? It's Pokey. 
Hey, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteor landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as, you, as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landed left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're best... You're my best friend. Bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Sure. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Okay, this is weird. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take Sparky along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room can help you out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. What? Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. <laughs> hey, Snowy, how's it going? <laughs> Someone that will be nameless. I cannot unsee it. Okay. Okay, I got, and I need to go get the bat. It's in the closet. Oh, I wonder if it's just. Cracked bat inside. Maybe she was going to give it to me for my birthday. <laughs> So you can relate to this? I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. You want me to hang on to something? Be careful. Yeah, sure you're cool. Whatever. Okay. Sorry about giving you this game type advice, but you should equip your weapon. <laughs> Do you know what equip means? Yes. Okay, that's good. Be sure and pay attention to details like that. All right. You go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. I like, uh, like he's kind of backseating there. All right. Well, let's, um, equip. That. I thought, okay. All right, Sparky's joining us. Oh, that does not sound like that type of fun, but okay. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Wait, work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. There you go. He's the save. I don't know why they're bulleted. It's weird, too. Oh, yeah. I deposited $30 into your bank account. You have your ATM card? I do. Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wahaha! <laughs> slam beep. <laughs> no, you, uh, cordless phones don't slam. Okay. So, I guess I... Uh, thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep. 
but I don't think it's a good work too hard. Click beep. All right. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, you can't slam a cordless phone. What are what are phones? <laughs> I don't know about you, but we haven't had a, a home phone in a long time. All right, I guess we'll go back to where the meteorite is. Oh shit! I guess that's a wandering monster. You engage the spiteful crow. Okay. Oh, I'm hitting B. A. The other cookies playing dead. Nice. It was a cookie. this way but oh fuck holy crap the wandering monsters the runaway dog oh no what's this guess I don't have that yet is terrible at this. <laughs> hey, I leveled up. I don't like snakes. It's heading right for me. I could not avoid the snake. This is the first time I've ever played this game. So it's not really a revisit. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Oh my god, there's there's how many how many runaway dogs are there in this <laughs> in this place? Shit. <laughs> How's it going, Riku? All right, can I use, uh, can I use my, can I use a cookie? Oh, only six hit points. Um, here, I, 
I was able to avoid that one. Okay. I think we should go. Oh, no. We go up here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting more. So do you, um... Do you go home and sleep to recover your hip points? Your hit point kind of rolls. It's not just for show. Uh oh, okay. Ah, I see. Uh, I see what you're saying. Kai. You stay at hotels. <laughs> That probably costs money, though. Hey, Jay Fry. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. It's a, I'm a man's man. <laughs> okay. Let's eat the bread roll. I read the sign already, though. Yeah. Lear X Aggregate's house. Yeah. Ah, oof. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. Come along. I'm out of here. <laughs> the dog ran away? Uh-oh. What? Oh. You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Picky, that's Picky and Pokey? Jay Fry, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Well, I have tinnitus, so I don't really hear. Oh, come on. You must hear it. A little bit. Oh, I see a giant light. Oh, that can't be good. A bee, I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And... In the future, all is devastation. Gygas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I'm from, there's a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light the passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. <laughs> you see, it's my opinion that you are that boy, J. Fry. This I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygas. Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. 
The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. For now. And now, and <laughs> wait, go now. <laughs> go now. And do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Jay Fry. Yes, we listened. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. <laughs> Buzz Buzz now joins you. Jay Fry. It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said, huh? I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. All right. Well, did I, I didn't really, I assume, caution, there's still lots of fires burning here and there it's hot. Yeah, Neil's, he's eating his lunch. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, Fry Buddy, I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you come visit me later alone? That's not creepy. Meet me in the park at the fountain. Yeah. Well, earlier he said he's a real man's man. I'm like, okay. Oh, a confirmed bachelor? Yeah, he's a confirmed bachelor. <laughs> oh, no. It's like an alien just beamed down. Uh, he's having, it looks like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. B and J. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. and Mr. <laughs> Hello. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus's plans. But Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Oh no. Oh my. The star man. <laughs> Uh <laughs> Yeah, we're playing it on Switch as well. The the used the used cartridges are too expensive. <laughs> so this is my first playthrough as well. They don't really show the um the hit points of the thing you're attacking. I, I assume I don't have any. Oh, I do. Oh, I have life up now. Oh, okay, I didn't realize I got gained that earlier. Hey, Magna Lupus, how's it going? A lot there. I assume that's all. That's all I have. All right. <laughs> well, we just started it. have a very uh, expensive cartridge. Uh, we're playing it on the Switch. Cartridges are between $350 and $400. So, hold on to that, Magna Lupus. Because <laughs> usually I'm all, I'm gonna buy the original cartridge. Not this time. <laughs> this, is, this is an NES game, right? Super NES. Super, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, that background looks super complex for an NES. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, I leveled up. Guts went up by one. Maximum PP went up by five. Okay. Yeah. It's Gigas? Oh, okay. Okay, Gigas. Another present. Oh, cool. Is it your birthday, Scorpio? If it is, happy birthday. <laughs> he came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. I don't trust this bee. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by, would you say, Gigas. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gigas's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth. So listen. <laughs> I guess uh, here, I guess let's take you back to your house. Oh my God. That's their mother. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have you, I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. See their dad. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. <laughs> now I haven't played Secret of Evermore. December 11th? Well, happy birthday in a couple days, Scorpio. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well I, guess, wow. well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're, Neil's played Stick of Truth. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Oh my god. Uh, I'd really like... Oh good. I, I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh, did she really just kill Buzz Buzz? Oh my god, that lipstick. Buzz Buzz? Ah! Gasp! <laughs> yeah, they're on the list. They're on the list. Definitely try and vote for them. And Luffy is on the, on the list as well. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. <laughs> to defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near uh, uh, Onit. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. You understand. All right. You are a very intelligent young man. And oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Ah, uh, guess. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. <laughs> but did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Okay. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. 
Thanks. <laughs> All right, that was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, let's go home. Oh my goodness, who's this? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. <laughs> Is a beast to be careful. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> what was that? All right, well, let's talk to, to dad. bank. I'll expect to get to the next level. Well, experience points to get to the next level is 12. Okay. Anyway, what do you need? Or all done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have a, I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. You're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. All right. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean quit, quit. <laughs> I just thought I was ending the conversation. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I guess to game selection. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. We're back. You're back. Don't bother yourself with taking talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some pizza and scoot up to bed. It's my line now. Whoops. What do you want me to do? Oh, she has a store? Oh, no, she... she I can store stuff with her. Alright, see ya stone grinder. Have a good one. Let's talk to the dog. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm stubborn mutt. Good morning, sleepy bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I'm so proud of you. My little man is growing up too fast. I guess we gotta south to the suburbs. Okay. Ah! That snake came out of nowhere. Well, I should probably go talk to that guy. All right, let's let's bash this thing.
This reminds me a little bit of Undertale as well. Was Undertale heavily influenced by this? Go back. Oh no, not another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it reminds me a lot of that. how the animals get tamed <laughs> oh okay so there you go that's probably why it reminds me of it oh the crow <laughs> he stole my cookie this crow. <laughs> A cookie. Yay. I got my cookie back at least. He didn't eat my cookie. the spiteful crow. We're at, I see. He was doing the the he was doing hacks to, to this game. So it was it was very much in his mind when he uh, he made made it. Ooh, I got another cookie. All right, so Okay, that is very helpful. <laughs> I guess maybe it's the presentation of it all and just the humor reminds me a lot of it. so far up the mountain here. Leveled up. <laughs> Hypnosis. Hmm. Is Alpha the level? Thank you. 
he's asleep. Do I still have to bash it? <laughs> that was a lot of pee pee, though. Oh, he's, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh my, this is a house. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. This is also very creepy. Ah, I can tell by the look on your face, you don't want to hang out, do you? <laughs> That's all right, after all, not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. Goodness. This seems this seems bad. This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Why is there? What is that? What is this? Oh no, where, where where am I going? Where is this confirmed bachelor taking me? So, J Fry buddy, I found proof of a great treasure, a huge haul. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Oh, it is a good, it is a big treasure. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. Okay. I don't like use like <laughs> I don't think that did anything. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, that was weird. But it was good for a laugh. What's he doing there? Definitely did not, uh... Treasure Hunter. Well, you know, it was correct. Houston, how's it going? I tamed the coil snake. Are so good. How did I just instantly win? That was weird. The easiest game ever. You win! You win. You just win. Have you have you played this juice then? This seems tedious enough for Justin to have played. Tedious what? 
I said this seems tedious enough for Justin to have played. <laughs> I mean, I mean, his, he introduced favorite... me to Xenoblade it's... Chronicles, which is pretty tedious. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, this is not tedious enough, maybe. No, I think this is tedious enough. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, it's not like filling out an application for car insurance, but. Uh... Oh, I see. Uh, I was over leveled for that thing. We're going home. Houston, you should get a job like testing, um, beta testing web applications. learned if he hit end, the game is over. So. <laughs> oh, you know what? I probably hear. Hold on. Uh, let's go about us. Yeah, let's um, let's go back real quick and leave. Why, hello, hey, Comrade Quest! Welcome, everybody. How's it going? How was your stream? What were you playing? You were playing Super Mario RPG? Actually, I think I saw that on Twitter that you were playing that. How did it go? How did your stream go? We are playing, we just started Earthbound. My first playthrough of Earthbound. I have never played this before. Yeah, you're on the last stage. Nice. Like I said, we're just starting Earthbound. Yeah, we finished we finished Super Mario Brothers uh, this morning or this morning earlier in the stream. So, but yeah, thanks so much for the raid. Uh, everyone should go follow Comrade Quest, fellow Trekkie. <laughs> You've tried it, but you never catch on to it. It remind I was just saying it reminds me a lot of Undertale. Just in the humor and just kind of the presentation of it. So Well let's um let's play a clip from Comrade Ca Quest Comrade Quest's stream. And y'all should go give him a follow. Nice. Ta -da. Ah, there's Wonder. Oh, cool. Oh, what is that? Do? Oh, is that the elephant? Nice. I'm looking forward like to playing that. this. I like, I like all um, my horns <laughs> as like an indication of fatness. That's kind of just like classically understood. If you have horns playing, <laughs> and something fat is happening. <laughs> When, when did that start? Who decided that? Who decided that, like, horns being fat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm playing all the Super Marios with the ultimate goal of playing Super Mario Wonder at the end. So that's why I started from the beginning. I realized I hadn't played... One, I probably haven't played all of them. I've played a lot of them. In fact, I have a lot of them. But I'm going back, and I hadn't played them on stream. So I'm going back and playing them all on stream. And then I'm going to play Super Mario Wonder. You're still waiting for an answer? <laughs> I, am, I am a big, I am a big uh, fan of uh, the Super Mario games. Well, thanks again for the raid. Okay. Why am I? Why am I? Oh, I'm already in that mode. I was like, why are my buttons not working? They're working just fine. Right, we were we were gonna head back to the house and rest. 
If I talk to mom, does she just... Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look tired. Okay. Alright, well thank you so much. Thanks again for the raid. Thanks for sending your community over here. We're actually going to take a uh, break here as well. And we're going to play some Fry's Quest. Thank you! Uh, Fry's Quest is the RPG that I made for this stream. So just hit exclamation mark join if you would like to play some Fry's Quest. while I get more Diet Coke and use the restroom. Welcome to Neil Steele's. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. Did you did you already have that potion, Kai, from before you uh, prestiged? Did I not clear out potions? I may not have cleared out items. Otherwise, I'm going to say, like, having a, a large... Yeah, it transferred. That's what I thought. Ready for battle. That's cool. There's no need to clear those. Yeah, I was going to say, you have six hit points, and you have a potion that you'll never need. <laughs> or it, that's overpowered for that. All right, if you played last game, you can go ahead and come on in. Ready for battle. I think that green look, the the green looks really good on Justin's armor. I think that looks really cool. Anyone else? 20 seconds. Ready for action. Have fun storming the castle. All right. I will be right back. In a second.
something, will ya? Ready for battle. You're buying that? <laughs> Good luck. Ready for action. If you customers didn't exist, I'd have a better life. I just got done wiping the previous owner off that. Ready for action. Ready for battle. I used to be an adventurer like you, until I took an arrow in the knee. Welcome to Neil's Deals. We're fresh out of lore. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Oh. 
lava and storm in the castle. Hello. <laughs> Lovely how it, how the Snorlax onesie mashes my hair. <laughs> it's a hair mashing onesie. Excellent. Thanks, Dark Passenger. I'm enjoying the game so far. Interesting. Get the fry. Juice then. Oh, and I see Kai, you leveled up. Cool. All right. Let us get back. 
earthbound. <laughs> blocking my exit. All right, let's head head this way. Direction we have not gone yet. Use the library more. This lady. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hi. Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Here's a map. Own it isn't the only thing on the map. All of the info is there except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you <laughs> allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient! You know the X button located near the top. <laughs> Before I got the town map. All right, shop, food, hospital, hotel. Giant step, there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. A man of few words. It's useless taking talking to him now. Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? Where are these? Is this a library? I recently read a book entitled Our Convenient Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. I'll check whether or not we have ATMs in our drugstore. I read the book called Our Society is Convenient. <laughs> is it a convenient truth, though? It's said that these days there are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. I also learned that to use a green payphone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. I'm glad I read that book. <laughs> this joker. I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. <laughs> hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP, but zero PP. Hmm, I bet this stuff will be on the test. I love the music in here. room or something uh oh no I'm in here don't try to come in especially if you don't need to use the bathroom uh. <laughs> I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes I was standing out the window I was staring out the window and there it was just fluttering there I'd only seen it in the encyclopedia before what was it magic butterfly if you get close to a magic butterfly, all your cares fly away. Just like fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep. 
that's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love talking about it. Oops. Sorry about that outburst. I carried away with all the talk about lovely butterflies. <laughs> I'm researching Giant Step. It's located north and west of Onit. I heard it possesses a special power. I have two. I would assume this guy is still in the bathroom. That was weird. Hey Fry, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? No. You're busy, I understand. Is there a hideout over here? A mole. I am not your enemy. I am simply your average run of the mill mole. Would you like some hints? fighting enemies? Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you're facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When you approach this way, your TV screen, no, no, I mean the world in front of you <laughs> will show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In which case your TV... Uh, oh, oops again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so you all, that you always have the advantage. Thanks, I did not know that. Oh my goodness, it's clowns. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. This shack was lo locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes, and hotels are too expensive. Alright, so I guess we gotta go to City Hall. Traveling Entertainer Shack. Oh wait, maybe this is not... Oh. <laughs> it's like I completely uh, ignored that mole's advice. There's the magic butterfly. <laughs> this. Whisper, whisper, pss, pss. Shh. What if someone overhears us? Right, whisper. Pss, pss. Wah -ha -ha. You jerk. Because <laughs> hell, the flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice. Welcome to the beautiful Onnit, the wild flower of Eagle Land. Oh, who's this dude? A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Oh, one, two. 
Her mother runs a preschool out of her their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. It's like a prison. The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. Thanks. There is drugstore. Why is it written like a uh <laughs> written like a two-year-old or something? If you have any trouble, consult your kind-hearted mayor. One of your friends becomes unconscious. If one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the nurse receptionist and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember, but it's alright if you forget. Hey, evil bud. How's your weekend going? Rumor has it that the sharks' boss is hanging out near the giant step. Alright, I guess let's go into City Hall. This guy looks like he might be the mayor. <laughs> there are lots of snakes and stray dogs around one it. Uh, is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Right? Look at these people. The Marvels? Cool. Nice. This person says, I'm not in a foul mood, but this person says, I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just may take me a couple of hours to sign this paper, Snickersnort. Wow, he is quietly quitting. See, even quiet, quiet quitting uh, existed back in the 90s. Oh, aren't you Jay Fry? Is it a school holiday? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? What the fuck? Who the hell was that? What does the sign say? Aren't, aren't you stuck? If you want a hint, come and get it. Eagle Land Hint Union. <laughs> oh my goodness, these people. Wow, she is frightening. Some suspicious-looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I wonder if they are members of the Sharks. To stop the spread of the gang, someone should shut down their gathering places, don't you think? I've started a movement that will stop all of the bad influences on the children of Wanted. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. <laughs> Humdy Dum Dum. Even Karen's existed back in the 90s. We don't have any openings for part-time employees at this time. I didn't ask. Did, you? Did I tell you that I saw a giant ant one time at Giant Step? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to spoil it for you. <laughs> I worked for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkel bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Alright, so people don't seem to like the mayor, is what I'm learning. The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm gonna have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. The mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town, like the sharks and the meteorite. Hey, are you the guy who's trying to reform the sharks? Waho, waho, waho! You got to be kidding! Scram! <laughs> oh wow! Where are you located, Riku? You don't have to be specific. So I guess that looks like my dog. Yeah, 
The arcade is full of sharks. I can't play there. Where's the arcade? Alright. Have a good one, Murray. That was the library. Let's try, well, let's try, um, we'll say yes this time. Just kidding. Being watched out, watch out is my job. Okay. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you want it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Does that mean I need to equip it? What did that do? Oh, I see. Okay. So my defense went up with Mr. Baseball Cat. Okay. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. <laughs> okay. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I, I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, what do you mean? I just go back in. Okay. I guess we will continue to kind of uh, floor. What about an arcade? I guess let's go in the drugstore. I don't know what, like, what's in the drugstore. There's an ATM machine. Hey, I know you hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Oh. Oh, okay. That's the green payphone. Wolf, wolf. I am a Ruffini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Ruff. Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? When you go to, the, to a store that has equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you are allowed to equip an item, it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the item's power is equal to or less than your current equipped item, the window will look normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. Rough. I thought you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to these people. Cold Remedy. $22? Holy shit. If I... Okay. A T-ball bat, $48. Holy crap. Oh, shit. You can brace it. Okay. Yeah. So what was he saying? Now, now I don't. Now I want to. <laughs> now I want to listen to what he has to say. When you go to a store that's equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. 
If you're allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. Why don't you show the numbers? If an item's power is equal to or less than your current equipment, the window will look normal, and if equipment, equip item, the window will fly. Alright. Got it. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna use the ATM. Well, here, hold on. Let's talk to this guy again. No! Accidentally, uh, I accidentally hit A. So I'm going to assume the T-ball bat at $48 is expensive for a reason. What is this cheap bracelet? Alright, we're not gonna buy that. We're gonna hold on to our money. I don't know what it does. Go to the burger shop. Don't you think you get food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers? That 8 bucks worth of french fries? You'll feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. Well, that makes sense. It seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. I'm so much more relaxed here. They never ask me, would you like fries with that shake? Hello, may I take your order? What can I get for you? I guess we'll take... I should get some fries, but we'll take hamburger. Uh, <laughs> I assume that's just like, you know, a health potion during... I got a hamburger from the trash can. You look so helpless, are you okay? Just enter houses? Oh, I can just enter people's houses. When you're in trouble, do you think you'd ever like to have a hint? Why don't you get a hint from the next house? <laughs> It's like, it's like, uh, Snoopy, the psychiatrist is in. That's hilarious. Uh, he is, he's actually not here right this second. Here, I will remove him. Um, he takes it next week. I think it's either Monday or Tuesday. He was going to use the weekend to kind of brush up on it. Hey, pass. Oops. I just want to read the sign. Alright. Now wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just $35. Would you like... You would like a hint, would ya? So you're telling me that you don't want a hint. 
You're either awfully confident or 35 is too much to pay. Anyway, a young man like you is very unusual these days. If you happen to need a hint, come on back. I'm here all the time. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. That's cool. Yeah, he just, he walked away. No, he may be going to take a shower. All right, I don't think we need the hotel. A bakery. What is going on over there? Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, there's the arcade. These must be the sharks. Oh my goodness. Ogo Punk or Yes Man Jr. <laughs> like you got your head handed to you. How about giving it another shot? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a death. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't lose. Did I lose all my progress? I guess not, because I have my map. Uh Okay, I have all my hamburgers and stuff. I have no I have no psychicness. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look tired. I like, I like that if you're overpowered, it just kind of like ends the battle. That's, that's, that's a great, like, idea. <laughs> you want to meet Frank, do you want Frank to beat you up? Don't you? Do you? Assume I'm gonna need to like clear out these punks. It was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? Better just beat it.
All right, we're gonna eat one of these hamburgers. Oh, look, there's Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Can I play these? Hey, kid, do you want to become a member? No. Don't be such a snob. <laughs> yes, man, he's hula hooping. <laughs> Looks like this. Can't you at least say your name? Oh, is this the head dude? Oh, no. Well, I was not... I just thought this was a guy. Yeah, it, it was... I, I didn't realize I was so close to the end. I missed. God, 28 damage. All right, I guess another death. Thanks, the dark passenger. I don't think I'm quite ready for that guy. I didn't, well, I didn't realize he was the boss. <laughs> Accidentally walked right back up the stairs. Why wasn't that green? A cookie. Oh, there you go. I leveled up. That was good. That will help. I was thinking what we might do is go kind of attack all the other whatever sharks or whatever they're called first. Not all these guys. Oh, they're all converging on me anyway.
This is what y'all were talking about. The 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 man the inventory management. Here, let's We're gonna eat some of these cookies. of throwing them away. This guy say, What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. Well, let's take on more of his goons first. that the people are becoming tame too. <laughs> I understand wild animals becoming tame. I mean, it's hard to get attack them from the back when they turn towards you. Oh, skate punk. Shredded fiercely on a skateboard. do I need? Now oh, 61 experience for the next level. we were holding up that Not even paying attention to my hit points. All right, let's, uh, we're going to eat a burger. Or we have a fries. Let's see how much the fries. 25, okay. Oh, am I going to get attacked twice? Uh 
Hey, when do I get to attack? One out. We'll just do the skate punk. Ugh. Ugh, we probably need to heal. Oh, good. You missed. Why don't I get to go? Is it something about psychic attacks always go last or something? Or does it have to do with an initiative or something? I need another death. A snake came <laughs> came right at me. a cookie. Butterfly. The magic butterfly made J Frags relax. <laughs> what does that do? Calling in backup. Fucking hula hoops. 
fucking hulips. I guess I get, I guess I gotta take out the skater dude because the skater dude can like summon other guys, which doesn't seem very fair. Ugh. Was that four? Did you just do that one? <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> I thought I saw it in all, uh, up here above me, but I wasn't sure. Skater boy. <laughs> totally did. <laughs> is that what it is? take out the hula hoop guy first because he's pretty uh, uh well, he does quite a bit too doesn't he Oh good, it took both of them out. Because he has the glasses. <laughs> you don't have any batteries for this module you bought? What 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 is it? What is it? Ah. He, he, he summons new people. module. Got a little round battery. <clears throat> Yay, I went up to level six now. Uh, I think there was like a hotel. Someone 
someone's house. <laughs> hey, Tinker. <laughs> I'm doing well. Oh, he's back. I'm just gonna go to a hotel. I guess I could look at the... Our nightly rate is not cheap, but we have a clean sheets and rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand that this keeps us very busy. Welcome to Hotel uh, one, one It. A one night stay will cost you 35. Would you like to stay? I have no, I have one dollar. Oh, here's the ATM. I like how it's like in a little room. Since we have 300. Unless, of course, like every time I die, my bank account gets removed or something. I <laughs> mildly inebriated. Well, welcome home. For all these people. Can you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum at me as I was passing by. Oops. I did not mean to go into the room. I meant to talk to this guy. Good morning. Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headline in the One at Times. Road to Tucson is still closed. You look like you'd, you, you look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You'd better be careful. Okay. Burr, 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 burr. All right, let's use the phone. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have 224 in the bank. Well, okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's get out of here. Head over and attack Frank. Bet it remembers which ones I've taken on. Ooh, get him! Oh! <laughs> I guess I can't. I guess I can't attack him from the back. <laughs> Guts went down. I like how ooh, twenty six damage. Oh. <laughs> so far, Tinker, so far. Fail proof. Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. And this is Frankie Steen Mark II. What? Oh no! <laughs> I didn't know how to attack both. Oh, 
I like how I'm just like a little kid with a baseball bat. <laughs> oh no. I missed. This is my first defeat. Fail-proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer Shack. Pickle, the mayor of One Lit, won it, has a key to the shack. J Fry, you've become a stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. All right, yay! <laughs> Yeah. I was gonna say, you y'all all have to respect me now because I've defeated your boss. So. <laughs> um. Gonna eat. We're gonna eat a hamburger. Alright, let's go back to. I think this is City Hall right here. Or Town Hall. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor, uh, is it Perkle? Is waiting for you. That's what I thought. Thought he would have some, you know, respect now. Oh my goodness. Here, let's talk to these people. Thank you so much for all your help. In the next election, please give a speech for supporting Mayor Perkle. Perkle. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off spit in their eyes and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the touring entertainer shack? For someone as great as you, giving up the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. <laughs> I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. That's hilarious. Jay Fry's got the key. That is hilarious. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Big Newton? Howdy, howdy. Well, we beat, we but I. This is my first playthrough. So far, it's hilarious. I love it. Uh, we beat Super Mario Brothers. Again, I, I have obviously played Super Mario Brothers. Uh, it was funny because I was sitting there trying to remember Bowser's Castle, the route, and it took me a while to remember it. Right, I'm just going to go, since I, I get nervous, even though I am playing on the Switch, uh, we're going to... We're gonna save. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, thanks for following. Guard. expense it is it is still that i so i'm playing it on the switch you know me i i love to play on original hardware in fact you see a snaz that's not earthbound that's super mario that's uh, uh super mario all-stars that's what we were playing earlier <laughs> and now we're playing this <laughs> oh thank you mama llama and welcome All right. I don't think we need to... I don't think we need to... Well, we'll find out, I guess. What do we... What do we have? <laughs> Back from your nap? All right, we have the key to the shack. We have a couple of hamburgers. That should be good. Yeah, it's still... It costs... Uh, of course, I like to buy the original cartridges, but I did not for this one. Uh, because it was between three hundred and fifty and four hundred dollars, and I'm like, nope. Okay, we already we already went. It was out here somewhere. We're already there. Oh, here comes some snakes. There it is. With these clowns. Guess I have to use the key. Does it free up my inventory? Nice shack. <laughs> I, it'll run. Yeah, I, that's what I've uh, I've seen that. Or you just kind of auto win. That's really nice. Oh good, there's no go through here. Guess we go in here. The mouse. A rowdy mouse. Oh good. Just four points of damage. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried. I was like, oh my god, is this mouse just gonna crush me? I've been fighting dogs and snakes. Well, this is like Fry's Quest. Everyone misses. Was that like a critical attack or something? You know, that's one thing we don't have in Fry's Quest as it is. Critical attacks. Ow, this guy is hurting me. Obviously, he's pretty good. All right, we're, let's. We're gonna eat a hamburger. Oh, fuck. I should have turned around. Good. The music has been great. <laughs> 
intentionally so. Yeah. It's been fun. The humor has been pretty funny. See, I took care of them, so let's go further. There's some rope. Oh, I see. That's like a ladder. All right, let's go this way. Is that like a flea? Did a flea attack me? <laughs> it's an antoid? What? Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it just heal itself? I was reading chat. Alright, well we leveled up. That was good. I feel like I need to head back and get, uh, get more, uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, getting potions before you go out on a thing. It looked like an alien ant. That, like, you know, like, yeah, from an alien ant farm. I was almost about to make the same joke, so. <laughs> what are these? Attack slugs. It's like four of them. <laughs> oh, they're trying to hypno- Oh. They were trying to hypnotize me. It's like I'm taking the bat and just going swoosh. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I was saying it reminds me of Undertale earlier. Just in the, the humor. Let's see. Oh my goodness, there's more. Oh no. I don't mind if he uses life up when he when I haven't hit him yet. That's fine. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I take that one out. All right. Holy shit, 20 damage. It's inspiration. You can definitely tell. You can definitely tell. Yeah. Cool. Fur course as an earthbound Halloween hack. Cool. Oh, 
time. I don't think it'll do that much damage. <sighs> I just want to get this present. A skip sandwich inside. What is a skip sandwich? I don't I don't want to do it just in case it's uh something. Get out of here. Let's go heal and get some more stuff. something running away. It's very unusual. Or something. To <laughs> Unless, oh, that's, it was probably under leveled, right? And so it was running away. I've already talked to that mole. I have 66 bucks. Okay. Yeah, the music has been great too. Yeah. Let's call dad. I think what we'll do is uh, let's uh, let's let's play some fries quest. Take a quick break. Oops. And then we'll continue after this. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna play Mother One as well. Oh, you have to wait. <laughs> Is there any new players who would like to play? Otherwise, I will unlock it for anyone else. Give it a little bit. If there's any new players. Did it. Maybe that's why. I wonder if that's why... Um, the cartridges are so expensive now. It's a supply and demand thing. Yeah. Because, like, you know, I when I bought the Final Fantasy cartridge for the NES, I was like, that's going to be so expensive because Final Fantasy is so popular. And it turned out Final Fantasy cartridge was cheap. And it's because it was very popular when it originally came out. And they made a lot of cartridges. And so there's a lot of cartridges out there. All right, now you can join Kai. And anyone else who played last game? Cheetah Mint. Oh, is that, is that, uh...
bad but super rare okay ready for action we're closed get out of here ah. yeah here here's one what are you talking about here's one from aliexpress for only 17 bucks I'm sure that's legit. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back, okay? See you in a second. Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else you gonna go? Ready for action. It's super effective. Ready, ready for battle. I don't know why I go to the trouble of making those potions. Today is a good day to cry. Ready for action. We're closed. Get out of here.
Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> you gotta attack the iron golems first. <laughs> There's strategy to this. Uh oh, you did it! <laughs> Big payout to Kai and Fire Dancer if you can defeat the man trap. And Gray. Oh, oh, yeah. What? You're mumbling. I, can't I was going to say congratulations, but then I didn't realize it wasn't over. Yeah. But then I stopped talking or st in the middle of what I was saying, and that turned into what you heard. <laughs> mumble, mumble, mumble. You're, you're welcome. You can say they won now. They won. Congratulations. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> As you can hear, Neil's back. There you go. Was it 430? 430 gold to the survivors. <laughs> All sales of fine action. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Ready for action. Ready for action. All right. You ready for battle three? Ready for battle. But we'll wait. You can. <laughs> Give him hell, kiddo. Well, you still have to have fries, though. Uh-oh. This may be tough. Platinum Dragon is, is angry. <laughs> He's hangry. You could buy six fries. You might, you never know, you might win at least one fry here. Salty was complaining about that, and then he got a fry today. He was like, I've never won a fry. The way, so the way the fry uh, works, the handing out of the fry works, is it is recording how much damage you do. So, of course, higher level characters are, are more likely to win the fry. Um, but what it does is it's doing it over time. Uh, I guess what we could do to make it even would be not be damaged, just like, uh, how many times have you played or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it does it by damage, but it doesn't reset 
it, it accumulates over time. So eventually you will be the highest person likely to win the fry. Yeah. D20 based RNG. It's uh, for to hit, yeah. <laughs> this is very much D&D &D style or old D&D &D style from when I was a kid, right? <laughs> okay, about changing fries to be a higher level requirement. Okay, I'll read it after this. I had had time to work on Fry's Quest lately. I need to, well, part of it was I was editing a lot of videos for Kingdom Hearts, so. <laughs> But yeah, and then Christmas. But I have I have two weeks from off from work coming up, so I'll probably have some time to work on it over that break. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. So maybe maybe what I was just talking about changing it so that uh, lower levels have a chance to win the fry would be better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So maybe we change how how it gives out fries. Yeah, to hit protection 10 uh, is 10% and they're 14. Yeah, you literally can't hit this guy. I also don't think I have, um, I should do automatic. You should, everyone should always have like a 5% chance, right? You should have, if you hit a natural 20, you should be able to hit, right? At least I feel. Yeah. Fun. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Let's see who else. You don't think Tinker can hit? Tinker's five. Fire Dancer's six. I bet you Fire Dancer can hit. He's almost dead. Evil Bud needs to stop missing. <laughs> it does round down. Yeah. Well, it depends. It doesn't go up by 5% every level. It goes up, uh, there's some edge cases, yeah. It does, it does by one, yeah. Yay! Freaky Kenku got the... Fry. See? A, a Riku Rinku. <laughs> you did get the fry. <laughs> the power of, of positive thought. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, we will continue for a little bit longer and then we'll have to wrap up the stream around seven. So. Well, there's, see, there's re Renchi Kinku. So I, I, I said that instead of uh, Riku Rinku. It. I didn't. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? <laughs> oh, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs>
this. Have I talked to this one? If you're, if one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. Yeah, I talked to them. City Hall is to the east. You know where the sun rises. As opposed to where the sun don't shine? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. This dog afraid of me? <laughs> no, that's cool. See, even the snake is afraid of me now. <laughs> excited about it. Exactly. And let's try. See, we went that way. We're gonna go up the. Oh shit. I shouldn't have turned away. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to get, um, I forgot to get some hamburgers too. Alright, so we're gonna leave. <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah, and I was gonna, there was a bracelet, I was gonna go buy the bracelet as well. Although most of these people are probably too young to remember Wimpy. Wimpy from Popeye? Yeah. Is that movie with Robin Williams? Uh, I don't know if they had Wimpy in that movie. They did. I was talking about the cartoons. Oh, he was in it. I was talking about the cartoons. Yeah, I know. Uh, but he was in the movie as well. That movie was terrible. <laughs> I know, you were saying that the other day. I don't know. We watched it a lot as a kid. The you watch you watched the Popeye movie a lot. Jill liked it a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah. She would have been extremely young when that came out. Oh, I mean, like on HBO and stuff. Oh. Uh. I guess we'll get two burgers. I wasn't really trying to sound like Wimpy. I was just trying to sound like I do. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's probably only been, I don't know. I forgot about the skip sandwich. I don't even know what that is. 25 or 30 years since I've seen one of those cartoons. <laughs> uh, did we go in the drugstore? Oh, yeah. The drugstore is just the mart. Well, how much is that bracelet? Well, wait. What did you sell? I sold my soul. Cold remedy. See, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's for. Uh, what? it's it's for a remedy for for if you have a cold. <laughs> yes. It's yes. medicine. It's medicine. Thanks. Neil. Uh. Oh, it's a cheap bracelet. It's a cheap bracelet, and it's ninety-eight. Uh, 
get a hundred and fifty dollars. All right, we have better defense now. That's cool. Well, let's actually, I do have something. I was going to sell this cat. See, I have, I didn't realize I had an arms, and that's where the bracelet is. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's, uh, blah, blah, blah. let's buy a couple more burgers, and then we will save it. these burgers don't go don't go bad <laughs> no <laughs> not a snorlax steak what is this Wait, where was that the hotel is over here right I'm like not even close That's why you have a map. Uh, I don't know if I want to. I keep hitting the wrong button. 35 hit points. It'd be better just to eat a hamburger. so much for being here. <laughs> hey, book slap. Ness's parents are super cute. Yeah, it is. It's it's been it's been a very cute game so far. Uh, thank you all for voting for it and suggesting I play it. Um, I had heard of it, but I hadn't really kind of uh, I hadn't heard too much about it though, and so I've been happy about that. <laughs> that that is kind of unspoiled for me. And so, it's been fun so far. It's cute. It's a very cute game, overall. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, so is this stream. <laughs> so. <laughs> I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. So I'll be back tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern with more Earthbound. Part 2. A lot of references. I guess to stuff in the 90s. <laughs> if you can't be here live, go check out my YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash TV. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. <laughs> or if you're not, go subscribe over on YouTube as well. These are all my uh, subscribers. Thank you, subscribers. They get ad free viewing. They get all these emo emotes. They get emotes and they get emotes. And 
thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, don't have to subscribe, just come hang out. Watch me uh, play random games. Well, they're not random, you vote for them. Uh, after this, we're gonna be playing, we're gonna continue our Super Mario adventure and play Super Mario Brothers 2. I'm pretty sure, I know, well, I know I've played Super Mario 2 over the years, but I don't know if I've ever finished it. It's one of them that I'm not sure if I've finished it. Super Mario 3, I have definitely finished. Um, I've played it a lot over the years. But I'm not so sure about 2. I definitely remember playing 2. And I remember I remember playing a lot of 1 as well. Um, and it was kind of coming back to me when I was playing it. So, so I was real happy to finish it today. Um, if you want to chat between streams, go check out their Discord. And here's our raid messages. Never finished Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah, is it hard? Is the ending hard? I don't remember it being particularly hard. But maybe. I, I don't remember. I remember playing it a lot. I just don't remember ever finishing it. But I don't remember I don't remember it being hard. The levels are pretty long at the end. Okay. Okay. Let's go over and one of my favorite musical um, uh, broadcasters here on Twitch is Fernand uh, Ufret, who is playing uh, live music, guitar. He's got a great beard. So That's why you like him. I do like his beard. You have a beard fetish. I have a beard fetish. <laughs> Maybe. No, I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> Maybe. So we're gonna go over there. <laughs> They're middle, the middle of a song. If I made, I uh. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully saving will help. Yeah. Although it saves between worlds, I don't think it saves between levels. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see when I get there. But yeah, I've been really enjoying Earthbound uh, so far. So thanks again for sharing it. And hope to see you back here tomorrow night. Hope you have a great weekend ahead. And uh, stay safe, everyone. All right. Love you all. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Bye, Bye. everybody. <laughs>